Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of comments and questions recently on how to become a data analyst in 2023. So I decided to make a video talking about how to start from scratch and become a data analyst or a data scientist in this modern day. The whole process should take about three months to six months to complete. The reason the range is so wide is because if you're a full-time employee and you don't have much time on your hands, it might take a little longer. But if you're a student or have a lot of free time, you can bang this out very quickly. So there's essentially three stages, the learning stage, the doing stage, and the sharing stage. So let's talk about the learning stage. Obviously, if you're starting from scratch, you might have zero knowledge, so you gotta learn. And the best way to do this, in my opinion, is learning through application. The way I recommend is going on YouTube or Coursera or Kaggle and looking at beginner walkthrough projects. This helps you learn the basic skills you need to excel in the field, uh, such as data wrangling, data mining, data exploration, data cleaning. So you might have to learn some statistical concepts like uh, aggregation, t-test, p-value, statistics, ANOVAs, etc. And this will obviously help you learn the skills you need to learn, but it'll also help you apply that skills in projects or real world experience. If you want a more certified route, you can take a certification from Coursera, like the Google Data Analytics certification that I took. It was a pretty quick certification and it ended with a capstone project, which you could put in your resume or portfolio. That's exactly what I did. But if you want the free option and a less formal option, you could go on YouTube and go follow YouTubers like Alex the Analyst or Krish Naik or even myself. I recently came out with a five minute project series where I do five minute projects in the fields of data science and data analytics, where we talk about basic concepts and go on deeper into more complicated things like machine learning and stuff like that. In fact, Alex the Analyst recently released a data bootcamp where you can learn basic data analytics skills and get certified at the end. I highly recommend checking that out. I think that's very valuable and could be beneficial to you. The goal here is to get a basic understanding of the field and all the skills that come with it. You wanna to get to know the field and see if you like it or not and how to progress from there. If you wanna learn more about the fields of data science and data analytics, I made a video talking about what it is and what skills you need to excel in these fields and what I think is most important about these fields. So feel free to check that out. A link will be in the description below. Great, so now that we know the foundations of the field, we can go into the do stage. In this stage, we're gonna expand our knowledge by doing projects. It doesn't have to be basic or entry level projects anymore. It can be bigger and more complicated. What I recommend is looking at five to 10 projects that you like and are interested in. And the problems you're trying to solve are complicated enough where it involves larger data sets, more complicated analysis techniques, etc. Remember the goal here is to get portfolio worthy projects. So remember to dig deep when you're diving into projects. You'll want to cover all the skills you learned in the learning stage and more. Like I said before, this is a good place to expand your knowledge and learn more things, more complicated things. So you can go from entry level to intermediate and maybe even expert. I understand that it's hard or difficult to enter a project without a backbone or a structure. So I personally recommend coming up with a workflow of your own. I personally have a workflow that I follow every time I'm entering a new project. If you're looking for some inspiration, I made a video talking about my workflow, how it works for me and how you can make your own. Another option is Kaggle. So if you're struggling looking for projects to do or projects you're interested in, I recommend looking at Kaggle. Kaggle is a great resource for every data analyst and data scientist. It has a lot of data sets, a lot of coders there where you can follow tutorials or learn from them, optimize your code better by learning from them, making efficient code or asking better questions you can look at the questions they ask and try to solve those questions yourself or come up with the better questions to ask from those questions so I strongly recommend Kaggle as a resource if you're entering this field great now that we've done some projects it's time to enter the share stage I personally believe this is the most important step let me explain why if your goal is to land a job, you wanna showcase all the hard work you've done so you can stand out and employers can truly see how valuable you are. In fact, this also helps you during interviews. It levels the playing field. It allows you to redirect or cater your questions towards your portfolio so you have familiarity and you can answer the questions better and you don't get nervous and trip out. In fact, in some cases, it can also bypass interviews. For example, I bypassed a couple of technical interviews because I had a portfolio to show my work so employers could save their time by vetting my portfolio instead of interviewing me to see if I already had the skills they wanted. If you wanna learn more about this, I talked about it in my other video on how I landed eight job offers in three months. A lot of people overlook this step and struggle to find a job or land a job simply because they didn't show their work. In fact, I made a video talking about how you can set up a portfolio in under 10 minutes that's completely free. What I recommend is hosting your projects on platforms like GitHub and Kaggle and leave your profile link on your resume and your LinkedIn profile so employers can access it more easily. Anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope this video gave you some insights on how you can enter the field of data science and data analytics in 2023 and how you can excel in that field in just three months. Once you've done all three stages, you can repeat these stages and go into more complex and bigger projects projects that are more interesting to you and truly expand your skills even more because once your portfolio is so diverse and so strong people can bring you on as consultants or freelancers so that's something you should really be thinking about if you guys like this video feel free to leave a like and comment down below so i can make more videos like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one